<laughs> oh, I'll definitely get used out of this costume another time. <laughs> What's up, what's up everyone? It's your girl, Fly Girl Nina, and welcome back to Fly Girl Bartending. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but one of the things on my bucket list is to go to New Orleans during Mardi Gras, but unfortunately I can't make it this year. But that doesn't mean we can't celebrate at home. So today we're gonna make three classic New Orleans cocktails to make us feel like we're part of the celebration. Let's stop talking and let's start drinking Mardi Gras style. Our first cocktail today is called a Brandy Cresta. Before we actually start making the drink, we're going to garnish our cocktail glass with a sugar rim. I'm gonna trace the rim with some lemon juice and then sugar to follow. I'm gonna set this to the side. And now we can start making our drink and we're gonna be using a shaking tin. We're gonna start by adding 3 fourths of an ounce of lemon juice. Next, you're gonna add a half ounce of maraschino liqueur. Next, you're gonna add a half ounce of poncho. Next, one and a half ounces of cognac. And lastly, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Now let's add some ice and give it a good shake. Now let's bring back our Nick and Nora glass and then strain the cocktail into the glass. For the finishing touch, we're gonna add a lemon express for garnish. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Look at that thing. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> That's such an interesting flavor. It's so good though. Hmm, what is it? What is it? You know what it is? I'm not used to tasting a lot of maraschino. That's what it is. That. The maraschino combined with the Cointreau and I think the bitters too, it's very refreshing, but it has so much depth of flavor. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of that one. I for sure am. <laughs> the second cocktail we're gonna make today is called a Bucure. For this cocktail, we're gonna be using a mixing glass because it is a stirred cocktail. For the first ingredient, we're gonna add a half ounce of Benedictine. Next, we're gonna add two dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Next, we're gonna add two dashes of Angostura bitters. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of sweet vermouth. Up next, one ounce of cognac. And lastly, one ounce of rye. Next, we're gonna add some ice and stir it up. Today, we're gonna be using a Georgian tulip to serve this cocktail in, but you can also serve it in a regular rocks glass. And now we're just gonna strain the cocktail into our glass. Now we're just gonna garnish with an orange and a cherry. I feel like it looks so like spiffy. <laughs> Usually I don't use the word spiffy in my vocabulary, but I feel like this cocktail, it just looks spiffy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've literally only had two sips of alcohol today. I promise I'm not drunk. I'm just in a really giggly mood right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this cocktail. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, that's quite nice. <laughs> Caramely, smooth, 
very, very rich, deep flavors. I feel like this cocktail would be great <laughs> if you were someone who went to a nice bar and wanted to have a mysterious lure about you. <laughs> then you would order this cocktail and then people are gonna ask, ooh, what are you drinking? And you'll say, Avuka Ray. And they'll be like, Avuka Ray? And you're like, yeah, Avuka Ray. <laughs> I'm just spewing nonsense at this point. <laughs> at this point, but anyway, mm, yeah, dark and mysterious. That's honestly, those are the best words I can use to describe this cocktail. Is dark and mysterious vibe. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? That's the sound of a Category Five hurricane coming this way, baby. <laughs> um, our next cocktail is a hurricane. <laughs> we are going to shake this cocktail up. But first, we're going to add in our ingredients. The first ingredient we're going to add is an ounce of lemon juice. Next, we're going to add one and a half ounces of passion fruit syrup or fashionola. Today, I'm going to be using passion fruit syrup. Next, we're going to add two ounces of white rum. And lastly, two ounces of dark rum. Next, we're gonna add a small scoop of crushed ice and give it a whip shake. A whip shake is basically shaking until all the ice has dissolved. Now, we can't call it a hurricane unless it has a hurricane glass to go in. <laughs> and we're just gonna pour it right into the glass. Add some more crushed ice to keep it cold. And add a windswept umbrella to make it look like a hurricane just came through. <laughs> okay, she looked gorgeous. Mm, look at them curves though. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give this cocktail a try. Cheers. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. <laughs> First flavor, passion fruit and lemon, very tart, fruity, but very tart. Then you get the rum and it's like, oh, that's a lot of rum. And then it blends back into the fruity and rum flavors together. And it's like, damn, this is a strong cocktail, but it tastes very good and very delicious. <laughs> So like, if you're not careful, you could definitely drink a couple of these quickly because you mostly taste that passion fruit. Fruity, tart, beautiful, fabulous. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have made it to the end of today's Mardi Gras themed episode. If you try any of these cocktails, please let me know down in the comments down below how they turned out for you. And also, if you have a chance to try all three of them, let me know which one's your favorite. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous and safe Mardi Gras, no matter where you're celebrating it from. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay fly.